Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded right triangle ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, triangle has been given to us as 578 uh, centimeter square, whereas uh, the high part in use of this uh, triangle is uh, 68 centimeter. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, BAC is being represented by X, and the angle uh, ACB is uh, Y. And bear in mind that X uh, and Y are our complementary angles. In other words, uh, the sum of these two angles, uh, X plus Y, must be equal to 90 degrees. And now our task is uh, to find the value of angle X uh, and the value of angle uh, Y as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And now let's recall these two trigonometric ratios. Sine of theta is always equal to opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And likewise, the cosine of theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So therefore, for this angle uh, X, uh, this side uh, is going to be our adjacent uh, side, whereas uh, this uh, other side is going to be our opposite uh, side, and this is going to be our hypotenuse. And now we are going to use this uh, first uh, trigonometric ratio. So we can write uh, sine of uh, our angle X going to be equal to our opposite side is uh, BC divided by our hypotenuse is 68. Let's multiply both sides by 68 to isolate BC length. Here we can see the 68 and 68 is gone. So therefore, our BC length turns out to be 68 times sine of X. So thus our uh, this side uh, BC turns out to be 68 times uh, sine of X. And now we are going to use this uh, another uh, trigonometric ratio. So we can write uh, cosine of angle X is going to be equal to our adjacent uh, is uh, side uh, AB divided by hypotenuse is uh, 68. We are going to multiply both uh, sides by 68 as well to isolate uh, side AB. So the 68 and 68 is gone. So therefore our AB side length turns out to be 68 times uh, cosine of X. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times the base uh, times the height. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, this uh, 68 times uh, cosine of X, whereas uh, the height of this uh, triangle is uh, 68 times uh, sine of x. And furthermore, uh, the area of this triangle has been given to us uh, as uh, 578. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our area has been given to us as 578 uh, equals to a half times our uh, base is uh, 68 times uh, cosine of x times uh, the height is 68 uh, times uh, sine of uh, x. And here we are going to tweak this part. 1 divided by 2 times 68 is going to give us uh, 34 over here. And likewise, I'm going to tweak this uh, 68. I can write this one as uh, 2 times uh, 34. Now I am going to divide both sides by 1156. This and this cancels out. At this uh, left hand side, this uh, things reduces to 1 divided by 2. So therefore, we can write uh, 2 times uh, sine of uh, x uh, times the cosine of x turns out to be equal to 1 uh, divided by 2. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, trigonometric identity. Sine of uh, 2x uh, is always equal to 2 times sine of x uh, times uh, cosine of x. We are going to apply this identity on the left hand side of this equation. So therefore, uh, the left hand side is going to become uh, sine of uh, 2 times our angle x equals to 
1 divided by 2. So therefore uh, we can write uh, this angle uh, 2 times x uh, could be written as uh, sine inverse of uh, 1 divided by 2. And now we know that sine inverse of uh, 1 divided by 2 is either 30 degrees or uh, sine of 1 divided by 2 inverse could be equal to 150 degrees as well. So therefore uh, we can write uh, this angle 2x uh, equals to 30 degrees and the other option is uh, 2x uh, equals to 150 degrees. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 over here and likewise I'm going to divide these one by 2 as well to isolate x. So therefore uh, our x value turns out to be 15 uh, degrees and in another scenario x turns out to be equal to 75 uh, degrees. And now we know that our x plus y angle is always equal to 90 degrees. They are complementary. And here I have copied down this uh, equation for both uh, scenarios. If x equals to 15 uh, degrees, we are going to substitute this uh, 15 degrees uh, over here. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now I'm going to subtract 15 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our angle y turns out to be 75 degrees. So thus in first scenario if x is 15 degrees its corresponding value is going to be y equals to 75 degrees. And likewise uh, in the next uh, scenario I'm going to substitute this uh, x equal to 75 degrees uh, value over uh, here as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we are going to subtract 75 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our y value turns out to be 15 uh, degrees. So thus for this uh, second scenario if x equal to 75 degrees its corresponding y value is going to be 15 degrees. And here is our complete solution by using the very first method. And now let me share with you the second method as well. And let's once again focus on this uh, blue right triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is equal to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle uh, C. As you can see in this given diagram. Here we got uh, these two side lengths uh, A and uh, B and C is the angle in between. And in our case uh, for this angle uh, X uh, these are our two side lengths uh, 68 uh, and 68 times uh, cosine of X. And once again the area of this triangle has been given to us as uh, 578 uh, centimeter square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our area is uh, 578 equals to a half uh, times our one side length is uh, 68. Uh, times the other side length is 68 times cosine of x times our sine of angle x. And once again I'm going to tweak this thing. A half times 68 is going to give us 34. And here 68 could be written as 34 times 2. As you can see in this next step. And now in this uh, next step 34 times uh, 34 is going to give us uh, 1156. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 1156. This is uh, gone. So therefore uh, 2 times uh, sine of x uh, times cosine of x uh, turns out to be equal to 1 divided by 2. And now let's recall once again this trigonometric ratio. Sine of 2x equal to 2 times sine of x uh, times cosine of x. So therefore the left hand side is going to become sine of 2x equals to 1 divided by 2. So therefore we can write 2x equal to sine inverse of 1 divided by 2. And we know our sine inverse of 1 divided by 2 is either 30 degrees or it could be equal to 150 degrees as well. So therefore we can write either 2x equals to 30 degrees or 2x equals to 150 degrees. And now I'm going to divide these 
by 2 and likewise we are going to divide these one by 2 as well to isolate x so therefore our x value turns out to be 15 degrees and here our x value turns out to be 75 degrees we are essentially repeating the same steps as we did in the first method so thus we are ended up with the two scenario once again x equal to 15 degrees and x equal to 75 degrees and we know our uh, x plus y value is uh, 90 degrees so therefore if our x value is uh, 15 degrees and we substitute over here our corresponding y value turns out to be 75 degrees and likewise in this uh, next scenario if x equal to 75 degrees and if we substitute this value over here our corresponding y value turns out to be 15 degrees and here's our final solution once again by using the second method thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye